Are you following our elections closely? Is is there? I am. I mean, I, yes, I am, because I, I think we've all got a, a, a huge stake in now in the outcome of your elections, um, the congressional elections, not least, but also the presidential elections. I think it, it's terribly important that there should be a congressional majority which is devoted to living within your means and to restoring order and sanity to is, the public. Is there any one, one candidate you like? Do you know what? I like lots of them. I really do. I, I, it, this, this idea that, you know, the problem is that there's no obvious Republican contender, I mean, that's just nonsense. Um, you know, I love every time I listen to Herman Cain, my heart soars. I think he's got a, a wonderful, uh, uplifting message, a great way with words. I'm a big Ron Paul fan, as you know. Um, big Gary Johnson fan, the governor of New Mexico. Yeah, but Ron... Newt Gingrich, very kind in, in, in the way he endorsed the new road to serfdom. He's been there. He's done it. He knows how to cut spending. You know, there is yeah. no shortage of talent. Ron Paul is wrong on foreign policy, though. Well, do you know what? In the current circumstances, Sean, provided that somebody knows how to balance the budget, I could not care less where he stands on guns or gays or foreign policy or abortion or any other issue. No, he's All a libertarian. I don't care about that. That's not the driving issue. But I, I think that in the end, you know, look, the IAEA says that Iran is on the brink of acquiring nuclear weapons. It's not the time to bury our head in the sand and become isolationist. Now, I say that, and then I have great admiration, because Ron Paul says, I'd cut a trillion dollars immediately from the budget. And I'm like, amen. So mm. there are things that he says that I like, but on foreign policy, I think if America at this moment in history puts our head in the sand, we are creating the potential for human disaster. Because I believe mm. those mullahs, and I believe Ahmadinejad, would use those weapons thinking God is telling them to use them if they got the chance. Yeah, well, I'm one of those quite unusual people who is, I'm pretty hawkish about Iran. I've always been alarmed about Iran. Uh, and I was uh, uh, in the minority of conservatives who opposed the Iraq war, not on kind of peacenik grounds, but simply because I thought we were making a terrible strategic blunder um, and that the investment we put into the occupation was not going to be repaid in terms of advancing Western interests. We've got to run here, but I want to give you a gift.